Hi guys, today using one of our continuous ink chip printers, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, upgrade and upload our firmware. So what you saw is I put in a USB stick, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, format that and make sure that we are uh, formatted for uh, FAT32. So here we see we are at FAT32, and I'm going to go ahead and start the format. And our format is complete, so now you know that you have a blank FAT32 thumb drive. You know, uh, but we're, we're going to open up this link here. The link is the new uh, version of software that we have. You make sure that everything is in the package, like so. Then we're going to go ahead and download it. And once it's downloaded, we can open it up. Right here, we're going to extract the file. And we're going to change our browser to the D drive from the C drive because we want it to be downloaded to our D drive. And once we have that set up here on our D drive, we'll go ahead and hit extract. And now that we have the new uh, version of the firmware set onto our thumb drive, and you can see now that it is on our D drive and everything is there, we could take our thumb drive out and go to the printer. So now that we're in our printer, we are going to sign in as GoTech. We're going to go into service, and we are going to stop the ink. Once the jet is stopped, we can go into tools, firmware update. So now we'll put our drive into our CPU like so. Firmware update, we'll go ahead and press that. Transfer file, and we will say OK. And now we are waiting for all these files to be uh, uploaded into our CPU. Now you see the file is transferred 100%. Our printer will uh, reload. And restart. And once it's restarted, we will have uh, successfully downloaded and uploaded the new firmware from a FAT32 USB to our Best Code Continuous Ink Jet printer. We can open up our door remove our thumb drive, and you should be all set. Thank you.